In this video, we're gonna talk about setting up a speed dial. Now, I could do that on the handset, yes. but I do recall that other times you said, it may not be a good idea, Toby, why is that? Uh, because if you set it up using the keys on the handset, using the menu, mm. then Tippet doesn't know about it in DMS. Right. So the configuration files are not changed. All you've done is make a local change to the phone. Yep. That means that if the administrator makes a change to a tag and rebuilds your config file or there's some new system maintenance done on the phone mm -hmm. and it has to reload its configuration, you'll lose everything you've done. The administrator would use the Tippet administration portal mm -hmm. to create custom tags that set the speed dials up for you. There are going to be cases where you might want speed dials that are common to all of the handsets of a particular type in the one side. Right. And you can set those all up in one there you go. particular entry. Like speed dial 10, IT help desk. That's right. So we've jumped straight into the Tippet admin portal. Mm -hmm. We've preset ourselves to your user uh, identity within yep. Tippet. Uh, so for this particular handset, and you can see there that um, we've done that to avoid having to navigate all of the sure. menus. So we jump across to custom tags, which we've already done as well, yep. and we start to add different types of tags. Okay. okay, so in this particular case, we need to add a couple of different tags uh, uh, by name. Right. And these are codependent tags. So one tag disables a previous setting on the particular oh, yeah. key, and then yep. the next tag actually sets the speed okay. dial value. So we need to disable the first part? Yep, so we jump in here and we say, PLK-5, yep. which is the key we the want. The key, yes. Okay, and we're going to disable that one. Right, so this takes whatever the default setting might have been on there so that we can apply something over yeah. the top. And, and the reason we know to do that is because the config guide told us to do it. Yeah, great. Okay. So, so when we'll in doubt, go to the config guide. Pretty much, yep. pretty much. And then we add the actual line key function. This yep. is this is the, the thing that's going to make it a speed dial. Okay. So we know that the line function value for that is line underscore function five. Now, another tip. Yeah, Notice, I can see it already. Yes. Underscore function hyphen five. That's right. This stuff's really important. Yeah, you get that wrong and it just won't accept it. Yep, okay. All right, and we put in there our tag value. Now. I have a tag value that I'm setting previously. I have set in here, and I'm just going to grab that. Okay, so that's one that I've organized before. Mm -hmm. Now, that happens to be just a, a random phone number. Mm -hmm. So we hit OK just to save that. Yep. And why don't we action this and see what happens? Okay. So we go to Files. We rebuild the files, and you can see up the top it said device rebuild or reset is triggered, and then we reset the phone. And that will send a message to the phone to reset itself. And there it is. Good work, Chris. But what about putting a speed dial onto the Ken or right. the key expansion module? Right. I'm assuming that's just a couple of tags as well. Uh, well, it's actually one tag, Okay. Uh, but it's a slightly different format. It's a good example of how tags can change for different types of equipment. All right, let's give it a go. So here we are back at the custom tag page. Yep. This is what we've got in at the moment. So let's add a phone number into the Ken. So I hit the add button. Mm -hmm. So this time the format is PCAM, in our case one hyphen Yep. Line key number. Okay, so PCHEM1 is referring to the first module. Tag value now is going to be, well, we're, we're going to use the same value again, mm -hmm. but we'll just change the name slightly. To support in full. Yeah, to show you that it's a different entry. Okay. All right. Now, this phone number is not a real phone number, is it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, so once we've done that, we mm -hmm. can go to the files page again. Yep. We can click on rebuild the files and then reset the phones. And there it is. IT support. Special one we put in with the full name for support instead of the abbreviation. So Excellent. that tells you straight away that those two particular entries are different. 
and uh, each was specific to the specific type of handset or uh, sidecar that it's loaded on. Yeah. So for those of you administrators, I think what, what might be good is if you're talking to an individual user who wants something um, specifically set up, then you might say, give me all of your <laughs> of the speed dials you want in one go. But I, what I find is, is really useful here is for the company-wide versions of the phone numbers that you want to put in there. That's all done basically from a single desk. That's right. Mm. And don't forget too, while it might seem a little bit more work for an administrator to do this uh, up front for an individual user with their custom uh, settings, mm. if they happen to change their handsets down the track, yep. um, you can then move their particular speed dials with them relatively easily. There if they go. say, if they move uh, to a different phone in the office or whatever the case is. Again, it's the tippet environment. That's right.